Hello Superstars, how are you doing? This month we're going to be looking at shadows and cardinal points. Cardinal points are things like north, south, east and west. So, do you know what a shadow is? If you've got an object in the light, so let's say the sun is here and this is my object, the sun shines everywhere, doesn't it? And then when the sun hits an object, it blocks the light, the light is blocked by the object. Okay, and that creates a shadow on the ground next to it or whatever the surface is next to it. Now, depending on where that sun is, the shadow will move around, okay? It, it's very interesting to see what it does. Um, now, it's not just the sun that can do this. It's all sorts of light. So that could be um, a, a light in your house or a torch um, or light that comes from anywhere else. Um, so you guys are going to have a, a little play with this later on in the month, but there's some stuff that you really need to know, okay? Like, for example, the sun. The sun itself is really interesting. Um, so do you know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west? So when you wake up tomorrow morning, or if it's morning while you're watching this video, see where the sun is in conjunction to your house and see where it's risen um, and then you should be able to work out where it's going to set. And also, once you know that, we know that north, east, south and west are those directions. Now, I don't know if that was inverted on my camera, so you'll have to get your parent to check. OK, I remember it as never, never eat shredded wheat. That's what we used to do back in the 90s when I was young. There's probably a better one for it now, um, but never eat shredded wheat. Um, you should be able to work out where north and south is when you know where the sun rises and sets. Um, and from that, so a long, long time ago, way before I was born, um, when they didn't have clocks and they didn't know how to tell the time, they didn't have their mobile phones in their pockets um, to just get their phone out and see what time it was, they had to have a way of finding out what time of day it was, okay? And so they would use the position of the sun to try and gauge um, what time was it morning, was it afternoon, to see what, what time it was, okay? And they had something called sundials. Now, I have given you a sundial this month, so you're going to have a little play with it. And it's a little watch, okay? It's a sundial watch, and it works with shadows. So when you've worked out where north, east, south, and west are, you should be able to look at your sundial watch at any time on a sunny day, um, and it'll it'll cast a shadow somewhere, okay? And it'll tell you roughly, roughly, if you're standing in the south, facing north, it'll tell you roughly what time of day it is as well. So it's all very interesting. You're going to do this. You're going to do some shadow watching this month. So hopefully with something like this, I've made some Lego steps look. Ignore all the other rubbish, but these are some Lego steps. Um, and you are going to create something similar and you're going to put them somewhere um, in a sunny spot on a morning in your garden okay use your sundial watch to find to, to figure out what time of day it is and do photos for me as well put the steps and i want you to see the shadow of the steps and i want you to with some chalk draw some stick men or you can put a piece of paper underneath and you can draw with a pen draw some little stick men on the shadow where the steps end okay then you're going to come back later on and check the steps again and see if the shadows have moved um, and draw some more little stick men if they have and then keep doing that maybe do it do it three times during the day maybe a morning lunchtime ish and then an um, sort of early evening one you will need to pick a sunny day to do it okay um, and then we're going to make some notes you're going to do photographs of your steps and stick men of your sundial when you're telling the time and then in your bonus bits booklet, make some notes and let me know what happened during that day. If you're feeling really adventurous, um, you can even find out what the sun does um, in the winter. Because actually shadows look different in the summer and the winter. Now there is a reason for that. I could tell you, but I won't. I want you to go and find out for me, okay? And then let me know if you manage to figure that one out. Right, good luck. Let me know how you get on. Bye.